research methods. I'm jumping right in. So we're talking about user research and um, what that means typically upfront, but also done throughout the process. So there are different types of research. Again, depends on what your goals are and where you are in your process, um, design and development process. Three buckets typically called exploratory research, generative research, and evaluative research. And there's different methods that go in there, but the words themselves kind of explain in exploratory research uh, and methods, you're really exploring the problem space used for probing, understanding um, you know, what's happening in the current situation. Generative research, and you'll see participatory design and co-design in that bucket. Um, this is a little more hands-on. You can bring the users in to do different activities to understand how they might solve a problem. That's kind of a really interesting way to see how they would think to solve problems and where many people are you know, considering solutions might be. And then evaluative research is done um, typically when you have some solutions in mind, maybe some concepts, or you've even built the thing, you have designs or you have a system in place and you wanna evaluate um, how that is working, if where there are issues, where there are places for improvement. So kind of three buckets of um, user research. And then digging in even deeper, uh, depending on the questions you're trying to answer, there's a range of methods that you can pick from and combinations of these methods to help you answer your questions. So um, on the right here, maybe looking at the two different axes on the bottom, there's qualitative versus quantitative research. So qualitative research is more direct. You're, um, you have the opportunity to probe and really dig deep uh, with your participant. Uh, quantitative research, obviously more indirect. There's tons of survey methods that you see there um, that usually requires larger numbers and it can help you quantify uh, the different um, responses that you're getting. So, those can often be used in conjunction. Um, on the other axis is behavioral to attitudinal. So again, depending on, are you trying to understand what users do? That's some of those uh, methods up at the top. Eye tracking, usability testing is a common one where you're watching people actually interact with a design or product um, or attitudinal. And again, this is, you're asking more specific questions and seeing how people respond to things, what their thought process, mental models are interviews, focus groups, um, participatory design is in there as well. And I think one thing I wanna drive home here is that this is just kind of a menu of research items. There's no right or wrong way to answer your question. It really depends on um, what constraints you might have. Maybe you're on a time crunch, maybe you have limited access to um, potential research participants. Um, there are so many different factors that go into actually choosing a method. This is just here as a guideline to help you um, understand, depending on what you're trying to under, you know, seek to questions you're trying to understand what methods are available to you.